believe it or not, the only thing that went as planned is that game probably went as planned. That is a really well coached uh, team, a very tough team. We knew in the situation with some of the adversity that we were under at the point guard position, it was going to be difficult the way it was. And then to have Sam out, to have Dez out tonight. Um, but I could not be prouder of a group, just the, the character, the toughness, the heart, the guts in there to just figure out a way. Um, a lot of times, especially when you're not making shots, it's not pretty. But what is extremely pretty right now is a one-point victory, and, and we're going to take it into Thanksgiving. What was the deal? Uh, excuse me. Dying over here. Uh, what was the deal with Des? Certain standards every day, you know, that we need to live up to. Um, when you don't live up to those, there's learning experiences. And, and Des will be back next game. Uh, but tonight was a great learning opportunity for Des and everybody in our entire program. What's the Sam situation? Yeah, it, it's going to be a little bit more week by week than day by day. Um, I can't get into specifics, uh, but that Thursday night was probably one of, if not the scariest night of my life in that situation. Um, I can't wait until Sam Greasel is back on the court, uh, but I can tell you more than that, I'm excited to see Sam every day uh, based on what we went through a couple Thursdays ago. And specifics as far as what's wrong with him? Correct. Exactly. team that never really went to the bench. They had three guys play 40 minutes tonight. Yeah, I remember my first year we didn't sub in the second half versus Akron. Um, you know, and, and we didn't sub that much either in the, in the second half. And, um, you know, Coach Gillespie can really coach. He coaches those guys hard. They're prepared for those situations. They're tough kids. They've been in a ton of environments, and, and you can see that. Grant's play on the defensive end. I know everybody talks about what he can do offensively. Where, you see that every day. How big is that? And what, how that's developed. I think that that's the biggest growth and the biggest development piece for Grant, you know, and give Coach Miller, give Grant the credit, right? But Coach Miller has, has challenged him. He's put on some weight. He's, his core strength is better. I um, mean, because of those things, he's better defensively. He understands our, our, our things and his length. Because of his length, he's going to stay in every play. You described Andrew Coleman as a luxury uh, earlier this season. He, you know, doesn't get a ton of uh, burn on this road trip and then comes in and plays 21 minutes for you, only turns the ball over once, really kind of settles your team down. Speak to his performance. Yeah, and, and before I get to AK, Jerry's Cook, too, a guy that had been struggling shooting it, I thought he let the game come to him a little bit better tonight and, and found it, and he, and he was huge. I think it was a career high for him. Um, but it's funny, AK and I had a conversation just the other day, and I – it's still new. I mean, everybody talks about all this experience that we have back, and, and we certainly do from a numbers game, but there's still a lot of freshmen. AK's new. Willie Guy's new. And then you, you take off the, the head of your monster and Sam, um, the pulse, the beat offensively of who we are, a lot of what we do defensively, it, it's different. Um, and I told AK, you just you got to understand your time's going to come. Um, it's going to be different for him, um, but I couldn't be more pleased. Just this his experience out there. He throws a shot fake, a bounce pass, simple little things that get us into position. And AK is going to be like that all year for it. the one, the two, the four, anything in between. Tyree hasn't been Tyree yet offensively, yeah. but what, I mean, what an unbelievable defensive possession at the end of the game. How how does he stay locked in when? You know, he's, just, he's used to being more efficient on offense. I think that's, that's Tyree right now. And, and you go back and you watch the end of the Cal Poly game, and certainly that was his first game of the season, so there was some rust. But he was very average for, you know, the first, you know, 38 minutes, 37 minutes. And then him and Rock, which you'd expect, leaders just made some huge plays down the stretch. And that's something that I'm continuing to work with Tyree. He's working with himself. Just challenge, You saw last year was a prime example. That in, that, that's to a T who Tyree is. The last four games – He's not just one of the better players on our team. He's one of the better players in our league. And, and just to get that urgency and understand, well, we're asking a lot out of that young man, too. Um, um, and, but, you know, to his credit, and fortunately for us, he shows up when we need him. Nature of this game? Yeah. Um, you know, they're a really tough, really physical team. You know, they, they really get up in your grill, um, try to make you uncomfortable on offense. And I think they, they did a really good job of that the first half of the, of, of the game. Um, I think we... We got more uh, calm and collected in the second half and started to play inside out. Um, didn't really look for our own shot, started getting other guys involved, and I think it really helped us out. Rocky, your guy, AK, got, like, you know, doesn't play a ton on the road trip, and then tonight gets 21 very, very meaningful minutes. Um, yeah, you know, I've been in that situation where minutes fluctuate, um, and it's, it's, it's really tough. Um, so, you know, I love that guy a lot, and being able to go from not playing a ton to playing 20 minutes in, in a really crucial role, um, it's pretty incredible. Jarius, they're, I mean, hard double every time Rocky touched the ball, every time Grant touched the ball. How important is it for you to be able to knock down those shots? 
Um, uh, throughout the week, coach kind of got into uh, so just the way they were guarding us. They'd be hard in the gaps, so we'd get a lot of open opportunities in the corner and just drive and kick opportunities. So I just worked my tail off this week in the gym, just being ready to to knock down those shots when my opportunity was was called. You get the last game you play Arizona. Everybody's seven feet tall. These guys are much shorter than you. What, Jarius? What? What? I guess what challenges did they? I mean, you guys scored fifty four points. What challenges did they present to you offensively? They're a uh, incredibly well coached team. They play their tails off every single possession. Uh, they just do a great job of hounding the ball and, and flying all over the place. So, so credit to their coach for that. Have you seen a team that plays basically five guys all game in college basketball? Um, no. It's different. Uh, after the first, you know, eight minutes of the game, I was I was wondering if they were going to sub a couple of the guys out, and then it just kept going and going. And I just asked Wes, um, you know, did did their guys play forty minutes? And I think it was what three 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 guys played the, the entire game. Um, I mean, absolutely incredible um, to be in that kind of shape and, and to be mentally tough to stay in the game that long. Um, yeah, so kudos to them. Rocky, your, your Padawan learner, uh, Grant Nelson, he, he basically had an 8-0 run. Well, he didn't basically. He had an 8-0 run to close the first half and kind of get you guys back in. You know, how, how impressive is that kid in spurts like that? I mean, that's extremely impressive. He has the ability to be a general spark plug for us, you know, go on – um, 8 0 runs just by himself. Um, on the defensive end, you know, getting blocks, getting offensive rebounds, you know, things like that. Um, he has, he has, you know, flashes of that. I think we just need to get him to do that all the time, and and we're going to be really, really good.